Well, good morning. It's another wet, soggy morning for us here at the farm, but the work continues. We had probably, I don't know, a couple inches of rain over the last 24 hours. So it's gonna continue to rain today. Pretty cloudy outside, but that's okay. Tomorrow's gonna, the sun's gonna shine and we're gonna see an explosion in growth. Can't wait to see how much this affects our garden. Thanks for that introduction, Eeyore. As you can see, according to the rain gauge, we got zero millimeters of rain over the last 24 hours. This bottom cap here was actually popped off. I'm thinking there must have been a little bit of water in there from the winter, and this is our first big rainfall, so we haven't really checked it much, but pop that cap back on, and we'll see how much we get over the next 24. Good morning, Chicky Poo. guys are glad to be back inside the chicken house not cold and damp outside but it was miserable and this thing I think it's gonna stay parked for a while with all this rain every time we get five minutes of dry weather we get ten minutes of rain just can't get ahead oh, look at these girls they're happy to see me keep an eye on over here you see way over there by the salt lick is little baby Morkum. You notice she's got the scoots here yesterday and I'm thinking it's just from being out on the fresh green grass, but he's got quite a bit of quite a bit of muck around his back end, so I might bring him in here later and just wash him up and see if I can't give him some electrolytes, make sure he's make sure he's in good shape. Okay, so I was just heading over to the tack room there to get uh, some fencing supplies. I looked in that little gold quad trailer we got and what did I see? The forgotten seed potato. One got away. So just over here by the Mouse Miracle Garden. I'm just going to go ahead and throw this thing in. What's one more going to hurt? So I'm just starting to get uh, this first section of sheep wire up. This stuff's a real bastard to install. I wish, uh, I wish somebody would put out a YouTube video on how to do this properly instead of just YouTube videos about how shitty this stuff is to install. Probably going to be all loose and sloppy and gross enough to nail up a bunch of boards and stop sheep from getting underneath of it. So it's now 10 30 at night. I just got back from the fire hall. Carmen said while I was away we had some visitors so the neighbor's cows got out and they were not just in our yard but actually in our garden. Check this out. Mate you see any carrots over there? Nah just onions. Oh I hate onions. Oi! Get your filthy hooves out of our garden. What are those horses doing, mate? I don't know. Let's get out of here. Well, it looks like they got a section back here, well and truly aerated. So you'll see later in the year when everything grows in, there might be a little bit of a, a bend in the rows, but that's okay. No harm done. They're all back home now, I think. They're not in our yard anymore anyway. So for now, we're gonna call today a wrap. Get myself a cup of tea, maybe a hot bubble bath. Hope you have a fantastic night and we'll see you tomorrow.